All right, your Bible verse today is John chapter 14, verses 16 through 17. And I'll ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. All right. So today we are adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators. Um, again, the mental math was good to review. One half of tells us to divide. Times are good. Remembering our square, finding the square root of this answer here. Neuroman numerals, we've learned about those. All right, so we're going to switch. We're going to start in our book today and then um, switch over to the PowerPoint. So let's go ahead and title our lesson. Let me go back. Oop. We are on lesson 107. We are adding and subtracting fractions with common, common means the same, common denominators. And this starts on page 675. <clears throat> All right, so in adding fractions, it helps us to think of the denominators as objects, such as apples. One apple plus one apple would equal two apples. One third plus one third equals two thirds. So if we think of it as objects, it might help to make it more, um, more real and understandable for us. All right, so we're gonna, so we have our one apple plus one apple equals two apples. Then we have one third plus one third equals two thirds. When we add fractions, we add the numerators, only the numerators. We do not add the denominators. And I mentioned that before, we only add the top numbers. All right, we're gonna go back to our PowerPoint. I think this does a little bit better job so we don't just have everything at once. All right, so Blake makes three-fifths of a pound of cashews with one-fifth of a pound of pecans. What is the weight in pounds of the cashew and pecan mixture? So he's mixing both of these together. So just because they're different doesn't mean we can't add them. The denominators are the same. So in order to add this, all we do is we add the numerators. So we have three-fifths cashews plus one-fifth of pecans. And so we get three plus one is four. The denominator stays the same. So it, the, it's four-fifths of a pound, the mixture together. So likewise, when we subtract fractions, we subtract only the numerators. The denominator does not change. So here's an example of that. 5 sevenths minus 2 sevenths equals 5 minus 2 is 3, and the 7 stays the same, equals 3 sevenths. All right, so here is our next problem. To make a small bow for a present, Denitra cut, cut one-fifth of a yard of ribbon from a length of ribbon that was three-fifths of a yard long. So the ribbon started at three-fifths. She cut one fifth off. What is the length of the ribbon that was not used? All right, so we have to look at some keywords in here. So she cut one fifth off. The ribbon was three fifths of a yard long. So now we have to find how long it is now. So this is actually a subtraction problem. We will be subtracting these fractions. So the ribbon started at three fifths. She took, she cut one fifth off. So three fifths minus one fifth. All we're doing is subtracting the numerator. 3 minus 1 is 2, and the denominator stays the same. 
So two fifths of a yard is what is left. <clears throat> a way to check it, you can take your, uh, your difference here, two fifths, and add it to the smaller fraction. And you should get this bigger fraction here. That is how you can check if you want to check to see if you got it right. Okay. So now we have a mixed, a mixed number. Two and three fifths plus three and one fifth. All right. So we have two and, I forgot what it was. Two and three fifths plus three and one fifth. Okay, so a helpful way to solve these is to rewrite it vertical instead of horizontal. So two and three fifths plus three and one fifth. So if you rewrite it, that can kind of help you to stay organized. Um, first, we want to add the fraction. So just for a second, we're just going to look at these fractions, okay? Remember, when we add fractions, we only add the numerator, 3 and 1. So we get 4. Our denominator stays the same, stays a 5. Now we add our whole numbers. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the sum is 5 and 4 fifths. That's all we do. We just add them separately. Now we're going to subtract. So we have five and two thirds minus one and one third. Again, good idea to rewrite it. Okay, so we do the fractions first, two minus one. That gives us one, and then our three stays the same. Five minus one is four. So our difference is four and one third. All right. In the race, Martin rode his bike. Uh, let me show you. He rode his bike seven and a half miles and ran two and a half miles all together. That's an addition word. How far did Martin ride his bike and run? All together tells us that we are going to be adding. So we have seven and a half miles. He rode his bike and two and a half miles he ran. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite it vertically. Okay, so, ooh, this is going to be interesting. One half plus one half. One plus one is two over two. Now, that fraction looks weird. We'll change that in just a second. Seven plus two is nine. Okay, so nine and two halves. That looks silly. When you have the same numerator and denominator, you can change that into a one. So that's like saying nine plus one, which would equal ten. So all together, his total distance was 10 miles. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do A together and I together. All righty. So we're going to do an addition and then a subtraction. Actually, um, we're going to do G. We have two and one fourth plus four and two fourths. So we add the fraction first. One plus two is three. Denominator stays the same. Then we add our whole numbers. Two plus four is six. So G is going to be six and three fourths. And then I. Ooh. So I, we have eight plus. One and two fifths. Okay, if we don't have a fraction over here, it just stays the same. It's just two fifths plus nothing is two fifths. And then eight plus one is nine. All right, we're going to do a subtraction now. Let's do letter L. We have 12 and eight ninths minus three and three ninths. So again, we're going to add our fraction or subtract our fractions first. 8 minus 3 is 5. Denominator is 9. 12 minus 3 is 9. So we got 9 and 5 ninths is our answer. OK. 
Okay, don't forget to do the rest of the lesson practice problems and then the even problems for today as well.